Hello, welcome back. And today we are going to study an important extrinsic muscle of the back, the trapezius muscle. So the trapezius is this flat triangular muscle and this muscle belongs to the superficial group of muscles of the back. This muscle connects the vertebral column to the shoulder girdle as you can see. The trapezius muscle has three groups of fibers. The descending are superior fibers, the transverse are middle fibers and the ascending are inferior group of fibers. And these fibers then originate from different areas. So the descending are superior group of fibers originate here over the external occipital protuberance, the nuchal ligament and the spinous process of the seven cervical vertebra. The transverse or middle group of fibers originate from the spinous processes of the first through fourth thoracic vertebrae, while the ascending or inferior group of fibers originate from the spinous processes of the fifth through twelfth thoracic vertebrae. And then these three group of fibers insert over different areas on the clavicle and the scapula. So the descending are superior group of fibers insert over the lateral third of the clavicle. The transverse are middle group of fibers insert over the acromion of the scapula, while the ascending are inferior group of fibers insert over the spine of the scapula. In terms of the nerve supply of the trapezius muscle, so the motor supply to this muscle comes from the accessory nerve which is the 11th cranial nerve while the sensory supply to the trapezius muscle comes from the nerve roots C3 and C4 of the cervical plexus. Now let's look at the vascular supply of the trapezius muscle. So the three groups of fibers of the trapezius muscle are supplied individually by different groups of arteries. So this artery, the occipital artery, which arises from the external carotid artery, supplies the descending or superior group of fibers. And this artery, the transverse cervical artery, which arises from the thyrocervical trunk, which then arises from the subclavian artery, this transverse cervical artery supplies the transverse or middle group of fibers. And this artery, which is the dorsal scapular artery, supplies the ascending or inferior group of fibers. And this artery arises from the subclavian artery. So this was about the vascular supply of the trapezius muscle. Now let's look at the actions performed by the trapezius muscle. So as we studied that the trapezius muscle has three different groups of fibers. So these three groups of fibers individually performed different group of functions. So let's look at these functions. So the descending or superior group of fibers elevate the scapula or these fibers elevate the shoulder girdle. So these fibers act on the acromion of the scapula and by contraction these fibers elevate the scapula as you can see. While the ascending or inferior group of fibers depress the scapula, these fibers act on the spine of the scapula and by contraction these fibers depress the scapula as you can see. Now let's look at the overall or combined actions performed by these three groups of fibers. So one of these functions is the cervical spine extension and hyperextension. As you can see when the trapezius muscle contracts, first the cervical spine extends and then it hyperextends. So an important function of the trapezius muscle is the cervical spine extension and hyperextension as you can see. Another most important function of the trapezius muscle is the shoulder retraction also known as the scapula adduction. 
So when the trapezius muscle contracts, it draws the scapula posterior medially and in this way it retracts the scapula. This function of the trapezius muscle is also known as the scapula adduction. And the last function which we will discuss performed by the trapezius muscle is the lateral flexion of the cervical spine. So as the trapezius muscle contracts, it laterally flexes the cervical spine and decreases the angle between the head and the shoulder girdle. This function performed by the trapezius muscle is the lateral flexion of the cervical spine. So this was about the functions performed by the trapezius muscle. Now let's review the important points about the trapezius muscle. So the trapezius muscle has three group, groups of fibers which originate from different areas. So the descending or superior group of fibers originate from the external occipital protuberance, the nuchal ligament and the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra. The transverse or middle group of fibers originate from the spinous processes of the first to fourth thoracic vertebrae, while the ascending or inferior group of fibers originate from the spinous processes of the fifth to twelfth thoracic vertebrae. And then the insertion of the trapezius muscle, so the descending or superior group of fibers insert over the lateral third of the clavicle, the transverse or middle group of fibers insert over the acromion of the scapula, while the ascending or inferior group of fibers insert over the spine of the scapula. And the nerve supply of the trapezius muscle, so this muscle is supplied by the accessory nerve and the third and fourth cervical nerve roots from the cervical plexus. The vascular supply of this muscle, so three arteries supply this muscle. The occipital artery, the transverse cervical artery and the dorsal scapular artery. And at the end, the functions performed by the trapezius muscle. So the trapezius muscle elevates the shoulder girdle through its descending group of fibers. It depresses the scapula through its ascending group of fibers. It retracts the scapula through its transverse group of fibers. This muscle extends and hyperextends the cervical spine. And this muscle laterally flexes the cervical spine. So this was about the trapezius muscle. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much.